Ohio. Number 13. All right, I've got 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x plus 1 equals 0. This guy looks quadratic to me. So I am going to let u equal the sine of x. Rewrite it. See if that helps me out. <clears throat> Okay, he is certainly quadratic. I will now factor. Okay, so now I've got my two U's all solved. Let's try to figure out what we're working with here, okay? So I have the sine of x is equal to negative 1, and then I have the sine of x is equal to negative 1 half. So let's do this guy first, since he's just on the unit circle, easy peasy. I'm going to sketch my unit circle. <coughs> Okay, and I'm looking for where the y coordinate on the unit circle is negative 1 because x is cosine, x is cosine, y is sine, y is sine. So I'm going to go to 3 pi over 2. What's my interval? I forgot to look. <laughs> 0 to 2 pi. All right, so I just got one rotation. Sounds good. All right, so I'm going to go here, and we have x equals 3 pi over 2. Cool. So that was for this one. He's done. Now let's do this one. Okay, so he is going to be the sine of x is equal to negative one half. We'll deal with the negative in a minute, but first let's try to find out on our common trig ratios chart where sine has a ratio of one half, and that is going to be at pi over six reference angle, okay? Uh, now that I've used this, I'm going to move it because he's in the way. So I have a reference angle of pi over 6. So let's consider the sine here. I want where sine is negative. So I'm going to get rid of quadrants 1 and 2. That's where sine is positive. And I want where sine is negative. So let's go into quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So I'm rotating a reference angle of pi over 6 into quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So if I did that, this would be pi over 6. So then in quadrant 2, it would be 5 pi over 6. And in quadrant 3, it would be 7 pi over 6. Okay. And then if I went one more quadrant, that would end up with 11 pi over 6. Okay. So my two solutions here are going to be x equals 7 pi over 6 and x equals 11 pi over 6. Okay. That's it.